If you believe the truth, if you believe the word of God, you, you, like it says here, it's experiential. You will at some point, maybe not immediately, but your expectations should be that I will experience it. So for example, if you know the truth that by his stripes I was healed, and you stand on that truth, at some point, you will start experiencing it. Why? Because his truth is experiential. It's not something that's going to come after you die. It's not something futuristic thing. It's now. Remember, the day of salvation is now. So you expect it to happen now, and you stand on that until it happens. See, that's the key. Whatever you're looking from God, if it's in his scripture, and so everything that has to do with our spirit, soul, and body, it's part of our salvation. And what does the scripture say? The day of salvation is now. It's today. So that means anything to do with healing, anything to do with deliverance, anything to do with salvation, with our, with our spirit, getting born, getting saved again, it's now. God's will for all of that to happen for us right now. And so we see it that, okay, this is supposed to happen now, and you continue seeing it now until it becomes now. Does that make sense? I'm going to repeat that again in case uh, I know it's kind of, uh, it's a play in words. So let's say that this notebook is a notebook now, okay? And let's say that it is laying right here. So this book, notebook, is a notebook now, and it's laying right here, and so I decide that I look at the notebook, and I decide, and I agree, and I believe that this notebook is for me now. Once I decide that, do I have that notebook? Right now at the second. No. Once I grab it, a second goes by, and now it becomes in my hands. Now it becomes now for me. There's a little lag and so that lag could be different. But the expectation should be now and not worry about what that leg is. And if you're not going to worry about how long that leg is, it's going to be faster than if you worry about how long the leg is. Does that make sense? You see it as now. Why? Because God said it's now. God did not say healing and salvation is tomorrow or come back to, you know, the next day. And Jesus proved that he healed people immediately on the spot right there. And as they walked, so some of them got healed as they walked, some of them received it immediately, but the expectation was a full, complete restoration is now when Jesus touched them, he spoke a word, whatever he did, that is the expectation. My expectation is now, and as I'm going, so like the expectation was now, as I went, it became my reality. As you go, healing becomes your now. And it's supposed to be experiential. It's something that you're supposed to experience. God's word guarantees it. It's not something that's coming in the future because a lot of people, so when we speak about divine health, it's very clear that God's will is for us to have divine health, meaning that sickness and disease, that we live in a state of being where we do not get sick. This is what I believe the Bible is saying, and this is what I'm standing on, and this is what I'm trying to grow into. And as a church, that's our goal, is to, for everybody to grow in into that state of being where sickness and disease don't touch us. When I say that, people come to me and say, oh, that's in heaven only. Then that completely goes against the whole doctrine of salvation because salvation was a package. Spirit, soul, and body. If you're going to say that salvation is for heaven, then you're going to have to wait till heaven to get saved. I mean, sorry, if healing is done, not until you get to heaven, same thing with everything else. That means you can't get delivered, you can't be get set free, and you can't get saved until you get to heaven, if that's how you try to separate it out. It's a package. So that's why Jesus said, the day of salvation is now, and in that it includes spirit, which is salvation, soul, which is deliverance, and then body, which is healing. And so Jesus provided for that. So for that... You don't have to wait to receive it at some future time. You're supposed to see it now, expect it now, and go expect it now, and allow it to catch up to that now. And that's the part a lot of people miss. When they get prayed, they expect it now, but the second they don't see it, 
they go into that progressive state of unbelief. Why? Because it's not within their parenthetical vision. They're not seeing it actually right now. And so the second they don't see it, they go immediately into the unbelief. But believing is agreeing with what God's Word says, that it's now, and allowing it to catch up. It could be a second, it could be a day. Don't worry about the time, expect it now, and allow it to catch up. And if we understand that principle, then healings will be happening really fast. Because what happens is the opposite. People get prayed, they don't see an immediate result, and they say, it never happened. And back into unbelief, back into staying where, you know, being in a place, this progressive state of unbelief that got us into that place to begin with. Amen? Does that make sense? I just want us to have this expectation that the victory for our spirit, soul, and body is now. Like, it's guaranteed. And it's supposed to happen as close to immediate as possible. And that's what we're supposed to expect. And walk until it becomes that. And don't give up before it happens. That's the key. Do not give up until whatever it is you were looking for becomes your now. Amen? So repeat after me. I choose to believe believe that salvation salvation for my spirit, soul, and body body is now. now. I expect it to happen now. now. Everything that belongs to me that that Jesus paid for for belongs to me now. now. And I will stay on that now now until it becomes my reality. Amen.